Hello everybody in Virus Rain Boot Block. What's this? What's this game? What's this? What's this? But not be to be poor. Don't pirate this desk. <laughs> Send 40 pounds for your copy. I don't think so. Left mouse to continuox. Right. Again, we're having to use the Amiga emulator to play. Smart Paul. I don't understand what's happening to me now. Was it? Ooh. Oh, it's three dimensions. Sister, look at that. Ah, oh no! Every time. Every time, Paul. Oh. Kent team. Bands Mars in Sector 1. Look at those graphics. The best get better. Thanks, pals. Now here we go for the greeting, the movers, the bell. God, I don't give a I don't river dance, my dear. Uh, oh, skip it to me now. Oh, well, what's this? What is this? Run the game, you ass. Oh, here we go. It heard me. Yes, of course they make it. They have inbuilt voice recognition. British Telecom, Cecil. Are we going to get sued for... We purchased this disc at £40 from them people. We paid for it. Um, so there we go. Come on to me now. Come on to me now. Oh! oh why do we do two-player, Paul? Yeah, why, why don't we do two-player, Cecil? Oh, Christmas puppies going crackers. Should I win? Don't know. Don't know. God, so let's do two player. I don't think that would be appropriate, Paul, somehow. Oh. Oh. Because again, this used to be in a, an Amstrad game we had, but uh, Cockamamie Amstrad emulator is not working. Well, it, it works. It works fine, actually. Why are we using that one then? Got the authenticated one. I mean, it doesn't didn't record, Cecil. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. I would always do the left side. Cecil would always do the right side. Why why are we playing two players, Cecil? It seems foolish for some reason just to not do it. I'm too old now, Paul, honestly. Right, okay. Alright. Uh, we played this for a period of about five years on and off. And then on the very last time we played it, I think it might have been on this very level, so it might have been a later one. A doorway appeared in the middle of the world. And, uh, keep moving, you get scared, you see. Um, uh, and it was the, f we'd never seen that pickup before in our entire existence. Of all the hundreds of game players we'd played through it, it must have got to le 70 levels, I don't remember. Oh, pop, 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 pop. So, oh. um, <coughs> And Cecil scree screaming at me. What is Cecil? Yes. Scream <coughs> screaming at me to get get to the door and pick up that thing and dance. It might take us to a special land. Um, but tragedy struck. And I killed the last, the last monster and ended the level. And we never found out what that mystical door took us through to. And Cecil was absolutely furious. Yes, yes, I was. Uh oh. Oh, that letter. Uh, what? I remember that now. Yeah, yo. Oh, oh dear. Oh dear, oh dear. Oh, bitty boy. Oh, see, like that. I went to get the door, and all the things popped because I'd killed the last bubbled monster. Yes. And we didn't speak to each other. For about three days after that, and that was the last time we ever played this. And as I can see on Cecil's face now, those me memories still very bitter in his mind. So resents me quite a lot, don't you, old biddy boy? Well, yes, I do, Paul, because we don't know where it led. It could have been a special magical land that no one had ever seen. But we played it for five years, pretty much. Um, so maybe we'd, we'd racked up enough playing time and it took us to a mystical land that you want to see if you play it for like 5,000 hours or something 
Ridiculous. <coughs> Cecil, calm down. You're choking yourself up there. Because he's crying a little bit out of his eyes. Um, so, oh, oh, you're nasty. Yes, do you remember this, Paul? No. Oh, I died again. There it is, Paul. Get, get the umbrella, quickly. Run. Yes, yes. Oh, glorious. Skip you, you bad. And you, and you. Not this one, not this one. Yes. Ah, oh, oh, Cecil. Oh, this is better than looking at a bosom. Ugh.